Hi, I'm Kara Pogreba. Welcome to Bright Hope Creations. Today I am coloring Wooly, the lamb, inside the front door. So there she is there, that's Wooly. And I stamped the uh, wreath from the door decor, spring summer collection. And so now I'm just going to start coloring up Wooly, the lamb. And because she's inside the door, I didn't want to make her too prominent. I'm kind of putting her as part of the background. So I'm coming in, finding the shadows, and once I found them, I'm deciding I can go a little darker. So this is a C1, and I can begin to shade her in. Now Wooly is waiting. She is waiting in anticipation for her company to arrive. So she's watching for them out the front door. Uh, I remember my children doing this very often. So this is how I put her in the door. I masked the door frame and cut out the window areas. And then I stamped her over that. And I second generation stamped her to keep her light and in the background. I want to keep her a white sheep, but trying to get a few details in there to um, show her fluffy uh, texture. And so I'm dotting in the colors and I think the light, well, the lightest is C00. So that's how I'm going in and giving her some texture there. She will show up a little better once I finish the door part. So that's um, what gets her looking more white in the end. Just taking those uh, shadows and bringing them out into the rest of the image and dotting in more texture there. All right, and then I decided she could get a little darker uh, in the shadows, wanted them to be a little more prominent. So th I'm coming in with a C1. I don't have that cap out there. Oh, there we go. Um, to redefine those lines in the shadows that may have gotten blended away. I remember every summer as a kid, we would go to visit my grandfather and when we got there that's this is exactly how he looked he was waiting for us at the door we didn't get to see him but once a year and so it was an exciting event all right so the front of the house is yellow and i am blending the y21 with the y00 to blend in the shadows into the rest of the the wood paneling and um, the panel was already colored with a Y00 and the um, shadow parts were a Y21. And here I'm just using the tip to tip again to put a shadow on the side of the lanterns and I am coloring in the, the flames. And now I'm going to start on this wreath. I stamped this wreath right on over. It didn't need to mask anything uh, with a memento new sprout ink. And I'm giving it a little more definition with the Copics. And then I'm going to put some flowers on it because it is a spring wreath. And I wanted a little pink color over here. Putting in the centers of the flowers a little darker and then coming back and blending those in just kind of pushing them into the the rest of the color of the flowers and now I'm going to start on the door and I started with a quadruple B but I found it to be a little too light so i doing a triple B and this is how I am going to um, show the the reflection of the glass just by making some zigzag stripes across the different window panes and then 
up there in the transom as well. And then I come in, this is a C00, because I'm going to make it a little dark behind her, because it's uh, a little dark in the house, but then it's too light, so I, I'm coming back in with a C0, and I find that to be a good amount of hmm, definition between the background and the lamb. I didn't want to make it too dark in the house. Uh, if you were, if it was daytime and you were looking into a, a house like this, it it might be just black, but we're kind of. I want to keep this a soft look, and I want to not make that so prominent on on the image, um, on the on the card. So everything just gets a coat of C zero. And there's no uh, shading of that. So I'm coming in to the lanterns and they are a uh, wrought iron. So they're going to be black, but I think C6 is as black as I get. And then down to a C4. And I th I'm just doing the even colors. So then it'll go to a C2. and a C0 to finish it off. And I do that with both lanterns, but I'm not gonna show both of those. This image reminds me of a house we lived in in West Chicago that was a 1891 Victorian, and it was painted yellow, and the front porch was a gray, but I'm gonna keep this porch a little whiter than that, and the the door frame was white. The The main door was uh, stained, but I'm going to keep this door white too, I decide. This is the kick plate, and it's going to be brass. I'm going to put brass accents on the card. So the kick plate is a Y21, and accents on the lanterns. And then the the doorknob will also be brass. Y23 to shade that a little bit. And then I'll blend that back in with the Y21. So somebody must have just polished that brass kick plate. All right, so now on to the, the molding on the door. And I'm trying to keep that light. So this is a C1 to start, because I know this is where the shadows are. And I'm just defining that and trying to keep it very thin, because obviously these are thin lines, and I don't want to put too much uh, shadow on there so that they don't just become gray looking. And then I'll put a shadow inside the the windows to show that they're a little bit deeper in so on the glazing there and um, just get that so they they're knocked back a little bit and Coming in then with a C2 to kind of darken up some of those shadows. Especially on the left side. I, I Even though there's probably not a light source coming in because there's probably a roof over this porch. But I, uh, I just am so used to doing things with the light source on the right. So that's kind of the way I'm coloring this. But it, it gives it a shadow. Uh, a sense of depth so that's it's working for me well there is a light source but it's probably not coming directly from the upper right that's what I that's what I mean to say and I'm using the colorless blender just to blend in that area that got a little off track 
And then just blending in the rest of that with a C00, trying to keep it as light as possible. I'll begin next on the porch. So getting the shadows under the steps and blending that down the step. I'm focusing on showing you the coloring of the right side of the porch. So underneath the porch there and then down at the ground, giving it some shadow. And then coming in, uh, I'm gonna be just blending all the way down on the steps and all the way down on those panels and then darkening it up. And this is where it just seems to make the whites look whiter by giving it that shadow. I, I like the little details here. If you can keep those thin, they, they really seem to help keep the whites white. And just shading it down. And then blending it out some more and giving a shadow to the side of the steps as well. Now shading the top of the porch. I would not have a white porch. It would get very dirty, but for this card purpose, it, it's a good idea. To balance the door with a porch, I colored this part of the door decor from the spring summer collection and it has those flowers um, and it's black line so I am putting black lines on my flowers with a Copic multi-liner just to give it that same look as the rest of the image. Um, I wish I had done this in gray though because my stamp lines are lighter but it's so small it, it doesn't really uh, harm it too much and also it's behind this sign which is placed inside the wreath nice little brass welcome sign I'm stamping the sentiment I want to make sure it's straight on my card so I'm starting first by stamping it on acetate I used a piece of acetate with some sticky two-sided tape on one side and some water on the other to create a seal on my misty inking that up in tuxedo black and I stamp it on the acetate and it's right where I want it so I'm just going to keep my paper right there. I could have shifted my paper if I wanted to move it somehow and I second generation stamped that so I just stamped it right down because I'd already stamped it once. I'm going to cut the front door open and I use my uh, mat here to do that but I have a glass mat under there so I I forget that I could just cut right on that but um, I cut that out and then I take the scoreboard and I'm lining up a straight piece of paper with one of the notches on the top and putting my door right on that so that I have a straight line to score that door so it's all set. I'm going to cut out what didn't get cut out perfectly on the door and then open it up. And now we have an open door. We're going to see Wooly from the inside. I made a top folding card and cut the panel to be the same size, four and a quarter by five and a half. So now I'm going to make the inside of the house and I'm using Kaiser Crafts Tea Party paper pad and this is a very small print for the wallpaper and I'm using this bright pink cutting that out I want it to kind of reflect the pink flowers and the 
outside of the house. So if I put this right up to the door, it would look like it was right inside the door. But the further up it goes, the further back the wall looks. So I decide how far back I want that wall in that hallway. And then I made a line to start the baseboard in my lightest color, E11. And I'm finding out where I want those lines. If I make a mistake, it won't matter because everything will be E11 at some point. Everything will be colored with an E11. And you can see they kind of radiate out on both sides to show that depth. And then I just decide, is this where everything should be and I'm happy with that so now I can go ahead and darken up those lines with my E13 and I'm just going up those and then I will make some uh, the look of wood so some wood grain in E13 and just kind of lightly give different lines and then come in with the E11 and color over everything and that kind of dulls down some of the, that wood grain and then I want to darken up those darkest shadows and wood planks with the E17. And then I'm going to line it up make sure it looks right and then I'll put a little adhesive on the back and line it up to make sure that the floor is straight and I trimmed down the top of the excess wallpaper and adhered the back of the panel onto the card and now I'm adding the little accents to the front of the porch next I want to put Wooly inside so I'm lining her up to where you would see her on the front of the card. I'll put some light temporary tape on the inside of the door so that it stays shut but easily opens. And there it is, all set. So I hope you enjoyed the card today. And if you did, if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.